Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Monday on the last day of April. Thank God. Maybe hopefully no more snow. Looks like we're going into uh, warmer weather here. Good morning to everyone. Mark, good to see you. Neil, Todd, James Rose now. Good to see you. Jonathan, good to see you. Darwin, Charles, Judy, Kira, Anthony. Look at all those great names coming across. Good to see you too, Tom. Lita, good morning to you. Welcome, Canada. All right. All right, everyone and all the cyber traders, welcome to get ready started on a brand new week. But unfortunately, we still have one last day of the month of to finish out our month. So hopefully what everyone's been doing this weekend has focused a lot of time on your monthly journals. See where you're at. Um, see if you're ready to get to the next level. Remember, one of the big things that we teach you in class is not about the winners, it's about controlling losers. And with that, you have to learn from your mistakes. Getting ready at the end of the month is when you clear out that Excel spreadsheet that we gave you, uh, that we cover in our phase two, to see what level you're at and see if you're ready to go from a, jump from a one to a two, to a three, a four, a five, or six. I mean, a six, a five. But maybe you're not even ready. Maybe you gotta take a step back. You know, remember, you don't always, sometimes maybe you move too fast. Maybe you got lucky and you gotta analyze your trades. Remember, the stock market's not going out of business. It'll be here when you and I die. So don't rush it. But it's not gonna take you that long to get there. In the meantime, guys, before we get uh, running into look at some watch lists and what we traded like, on Friday and stuff like that. I'd like to welcome all the new members that are joining us fresh on a Monday. Hopefully you guys had the opportunity to watch some of the, the trading videos that you've given um, on your portal so you can learn a little bit more about the high frequency, some level three and all that. And most, most important, make sure you book your appointment uh, with your instructor and talk to education advisor so you know exactly what to expect to be in this room. So when you sit back and watch what's going on, you know exactly what's going on. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, you might be confused. And the only reason why you might be confused is just remember who really trained you. But you're gonna see what it's like to be in the original cyber group, um, the original trading room that we started over 25 years ago and uh, you know, and why uh, and why the people are doing great, all right? So just watch it, look, listen and learn. All right, in the meantime, everyone, I just want to bring up this one stock, the FDC trade. Uh, I know some of you guys did trade in the pre-market. I just want to post up that chat I put in at 844 when I told you that there was resistance at, uh, at 1725. That stock did exactly what I predicted it was going to do in the pre-market. I know a lot of you were already in it right around 830. So it was a really, really nice winner. Um, you know, if you did, if you jumped in and got in at the 1630s, 40s, you just got in right at that resistance. You did great. Um, that let me tell you, a lot of our money that we make, guys, is in the pre-market. Uh, only thing that was really scary on that is, remember, you got to be, you got to be a minimum of a, two, a, a cyber trader too to be to trade pre-market. But because you could see, if you didn't get, if you if you got greedy and didn't understand how to trade pre-market, you probably would have threw away a huge profit. Because look where it is right now. But uh, just remember, guys, I always got you back. This is what team team efforts all about. Now, regarding what happened last week, listen, there was a ton, a ton of earnings that came out. You know, everyone did well with the Intel trade, uh, Microsoft. You know, there was a lot of big, big movers last week. You know, U.S. Steel. We had, it was just like the, the list goes on and on and on. We had great shorts like U.S. Steel. You know, by the way. Um, I want to keep U.S. Steel on my watch list because, as a swing trade, U.S. Steel is tasting is tasting <laughs> testing a major support level. So I want to keep a close eye on this on on this uh, support level that we looked at. But a lot of them did really really well. The uh, the FCRE just was probably a really nice. What happened on uh, on Friday? We had that great pop. Stock went from eighty cents to a buck sixty, up one hundred percent. That was pretty cool. On Thursday, the GNPX. Just want to bring up that was pretty awesome. That was probably our best winner of the week. Uh, that one went from six dollars in one day, went to eighteen. A lot of you guys crushed it. That was amazing. And once again, Steve D had his best day ever. 
on Thursday with that GNPX. Um, and I know he picked up another thousand on Friday. Like I told you, Steve, and I tell everyone else, just be patient and you'll get there. After a while, it's just numbers and it's just knowing how the game slows down on you. But um, as you get better at it, you'll be able to uh, add to add to your, uh, what can I say, uh, your, your share amount and go from there. Because remember, if you can't make money with, with one share, you're not gonna ever make money with a thousand shares, okay? Now let's go through the watch list. There's a couple of stocks I do want to keep an eye on. Right, once again, we have the the FDC trade right there. That was pretty pretty nice, nice little mover. She's um she's nice. She's breaking higher highs, you know. But remember, we had that resistance levels at 17.25. We want to keep an eye on that. You know what's unbelievable? I want to talk about the Sprint trade. You know, I'm telling you, this is what shows you that you never understand, you know, what Wall Street's thinking. But what's the rumor? They, they, you know, I, I mean, I don't know if they got the approval, but the merger with uh, T-Mobile, uh, Sprint and T-Mobile. So, but look at it. What did it do? Boom, the thing tanked. <laughs> I mean, it makes absolutely no sense what's going on with T-Mobile and Sprint. You, we hear, you would think that it would go up, right? This is when you learn that it doesn't matter what you think. It's what Wall Street thinks. So, that's what you have to look at. So anyway, that was a pretty interesting uh, situation with that sprint trade. I'm really curious to see how it turns out. But remember, guys, don't sit there and watch something that we're not going to be trading. Remember, we're here to trade, not to watch. STDY. Going to add this to the watch list. The stock's got a little bit of a Fausto list right, uh, uh, flag right now. Stock's up about 79%, 46,000 shares traded. This is a scalping stock, guys. And remember, with the five cent spread, you got to know how to scalp on that. So that one looks pretty good. The AK, uh, AKAO is another one that's going to be thrown on the watch list. Great pre-market trading. Uh, it did back off a little bit as of right now, but look at that. Stock went from, in the pre-market, 1320 to 1440. It had some major resistance levels going back in April. If it does break it, you know, look, look for the stock to go hit resistance at 15. You have some decent orders here on the matrix, so we'll keep a close eye on that one. Next one, um, the ARNC. Now, I don't know if she's on your watch list, uh, on your short list, but this stock is breaking lower lows and uh, not looking too healthy for this ARNC. So this one looks like a pretty decent short. And a couple of you guys are bringing up the Fitbit. Um, fit right there, just out of nowhere, it just popped. F-I-T. Stock went from 570 to 590. You know, listen, one of the things I observe, I noticed Fitbit has a couple of commercials on TV, so they must be making some money, uh, Fitbit, but, you know, it's just, I don't know. It's uh, it's like, I don't know, Fitbit was like the, the, the GoPro. You know, GoPro was like an $80, $90 stock, and what is it, uh, GPRO, where is it today? Oops, spelled it wrong. GPRO, and you can see where it is now. Boom, it's down to, uh, well, uh, 490. <laughs> Not looking too well. So anyway, a lot, of, a lot of nice little stocks out there to trade. Listen, it is Monday. So let me just remind everyone how to trade on the Monday is that it's the weekend. People are still, you know, rolling in work. People coming in late. Not a lot of news other than the, the merger that you heard about. So, you know, what we found is not always a, the, the best list on a Monday morning. We always find new ones that will pop up once the market opens up. And then obviously there's always hump day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And today, let me tell you, and as a trader, I just want to remind you, what is today? The last day of the pay period. It wasn't the 27th on Friday. Today's the 30th. So a lot of traders want to close out their month on a positive note. So you might not get that much crazy volatility going on today. So just got to take, you got to take it with a grain of salt. Remember, not every day is a trading day. Be smart. Don't be cocky and just be, you know, listen, just take what the market gives you. If it's not there, it's not there. That's why we trade. And remember, it's not going anywhere. It'll still be there tomorrow if we don't trade today. So be very skeptical and very careful today. But if we see something, guys, you know, let's work together like a team like we were trained. All right, guys, anything I'm missing? Yeah, Benita, I saw the v the VIX, the VXX. Uh, that one's got some big move, but remember, you have to be a level three cyber trader trade any of these ETFs because they do move pretty quickly. All right, everyone. Um, so good luck today. Happy trading. And remember, it's a brand new week. See you back at 2.30 and go from there. All right. And remember, if you're a new member, make sure you check with your education advisor to know exactly what you get so you can enjoy and make it as most as profitable as you can the cyber group room so you can see exactly what it is and you can enjoy it and hopefully be part of the team. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.